Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. Today I have a Model Ones lipstick series gel polish set and this was a release with their Pantone collection. I did try a few of their acrylics that they sent and I created this set. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to go watch it. I'll link it in the cards. This particular set is called Fears and they sent this to me like a while ago and I know they're just waiting for the video but it is a good thing I actually waited to get into it because it has some really nice it has some really nice colors for Valentine's Day. It comes in this pretty pink bag and I actually reuse these bags for like extra nail items and I put them on my shelf so it's really good to like reuse for nail items and stuff. So I'm just unboxing everything that comes in this gel polish set and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this. If you do see anything you like or if you are interested in this, I will leave it down below so you guys can check it out on their website. And you can use my discount code to save some money off. So now let's get into the gel polishes. So I do like the bottles of these. I have received some, I forgot the collection, but I have received some already like this and I really love the matte finish velvet bottles. But this collection comes with a base and top coat and these bottles are 10 ml. So you do get a lot of product. And here is the first color which is called raspberry and all of these colors are just super gorgeous we do have like three red tones and then we also have some cat eye gels so this is one of the cat eye gels which is called sterling lavender and i really love the bottles for the cat eye gels they have a more chrome look to the bottles i really like that it's super pretty And the next color is called New Maroon, which is a darker tone red, almost like a burgundy, really rich and creamy. Here's another one of the cat eye gels, which is called Satin Chemise. If I haven't mentioned, you do get three of the cat eye gels and three regulars. But here is the cat eye gels, really shimmery color, and this is more like a nude gold. This next color to me is just so perfect for Valentine's Day. This color is called Raisin Red. And honestly, it is just the perfect shade of red. The last color I'm going to be showing is the last cat eye gel. And this is called Sparkling Fuchsia. Like this bottle is so pretty. I really love the chrome effect. And this color is just very, very gorgeous. I love how it have these shimmers in it. Like it is just super pretty. So here are the three bottles of cat eye gels all side by side together just as a comparison so that you guys can see the color and then we have the last three which are the regular ones and they are just different shades of red very very pretty just to keep the video not as long and to save some time i went ahead and swatched out all of the colors they are just so pigmented they went on very very smooth and all of these swatches are two coats i cured for 30 seconds in between each coat and then i also top coated with the glossy top coat that was included in the gel polish set the cat eye gels were also two coats and they had a really really nice effect in the sun i have worked with madame glam cat eye gels and i'm just starting to love cat eye gels i haven't really used them that much but i really do like them and i did unbox this like a few days before i actually did this set when i was unboxing this it did come with a pair of tweezers so i just wanted to show that but i've already applied my nails i didn't show it in today's video just because i always show how i put them on but i applied my peel off base coat added a layer of base coat and then i went in with my poly gel and applied these using my little beetles lamp and i went ahead and filed the free edge of the nails i buffed away the shine and since I did buff away the shine, there was a little lint, so I went ahead and cleansed the nails with some alcohol, and now I'm just going over 
the nails with a layer of base coat so like i mentioned i did unbox this like two days before i'm doing this set so even though the gel polishes were laid out in front of me i totally forgot that the kit had some base coat in it so i'm not using that one but i did realize the white area on my middle nail came from the alcohol but i did top coat the underside as well and you can see it just slowly start to disappear but once i get this base coat on i'm going to cure for 30 seconds To officially start my design, I'm going to take the base coat that was provided in the gel polish set and then I'm going to start with my pinky as always and I'm putting a layer of this base coat underneath the nail because I'm going to be adding some glitters. I didn't know what I was going to do but like everything just started to come to me once I applied the nails. But I'm taking this red glitter. This glitter is from the Baby Girl Nails and Your Nail Lab collaboration. I believe it was an October box. You won't be able to get this box because it was limited. Along with those glitters, I'm using this Stardust glitter and this glitter is from Secret Nail Affair. I'm just putting some of these glitters on the base coat underneath the nail. And first, I start with the red just because I want the red to be like on top since this is going to be a Valentine's Day set. I want the red to show just a little bit more but I'm only putting a little bit because I want it to be like really really faint. And I'm going in with the Stardust and I'm packing it on a little bit more just so that there's a little bit more glitter. And then once I get it to my liking like this, I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds with the little mini UV lamp. Once that was cured, I'm taking the top coat and I'm just going to be encapsulating the glitters. I'm just going in with the top coat so that nothing sticks to the glitters or like nothing falls out of place. And then I cured that for another 30 seconds. And now I'm taking the red, I believe this is Racing Red. And then I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam Ombre brush that I got from my Christmas Advent calendar. This is my first time using this brush and this was a little bit difficult. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be. For some reason, I just kept pulling the color down a little bit too low i wanted it to be like in the middle almost it took me a few tries actually but i'm only going to be showing my successful attempts but once i had the first layer i did cure that with my light and then also i went back in with another layer just blending that down a little bit more because it was a little bit sheer And then also I noticed this little back and forth little motion. It, it worked a little bit better to thin the gel polish out where I wanted it to fade. So I ended up doing that on the nail. And then once I got it to my liking, I just cured that with my light. And then I'm just going to be repeating this for my index nail. I didn't show it, but I went in with two coats of red on my index nail. I felt like I blended the color down a little bit too low. I did want a little bit more of the glitter to show, but it is okay. We're going to move on to the next nail. So I'm going to be taking the satin chemise, I believe that's how you say it, which is the like nude color cat eye gel. And I'm going in with the full coverage of this nail. I'm going to be doing the cat eye effect, but I want this to be like my background color. So I didn't really want a specific pattern with the cat eye gel or a specific design. So I'm just going to be creating some of the um, effect. Like I just wanted that to be in the background. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just going to make sure I get some little shimmers all over the nail. I'm going to cure this and do another layer. 
And while this is playing out and I have some free time and I'm actually like remembering, I did want to talk a little bit more about my monthly giveaway that I decided to do. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, I did mention that I wanted to do a $50 giveaway at the end of every month. So, and in order to have a chance to win, the only thing you must do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, and show love to my posts when I post and upload. And really that's all that you have to do. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be announcing like the winners or like everything. I'll have that figured out once it gets closer to that time. But with the new color of this cat eye gel, I went ahead and repeated that same process doing the two layers over my thumb. Now I'm just taking all of the gels that was included in this fierce kit. I'm just putting them onto my nail palette along with this color from Nail Addict. I wanted to use a pink because red and pink are um, Valentine's Day colors. So it wouldn't be right if I didn't have a really baby pink, which was called Electric Rose. And I will leave my discount codes down below for each individual brand that I use. And then I'm also taking this Madame Glam white gel liner. This was also included in the advent calendar. So to start this design, I started off with the baby pink and I was gonna do like that outlined heart look that I see everyone doing. It's such a pretty design. And I wanted to try it, but it was just really, really hard to get those layers of outline. Like I was really struggling with this nail. But for my first heart, it did come out decent. So I cured this little pink heart. And then I went in to do an outline for this color. And this also turned out pretty decent. But once I got to the third layer of this outline, that's when it became difficult. And like I was just struggling. I was sitting here like just wiping away trying to not get frustrated. But it was just taking so long. So I decided to improvise and not do the different colors of outlines because I wanted it to have like each color which would have been four different layers but yeah that was way too hard and it was just taking way too long so I did cut off the parts where I did it I think I'm gonna leave a part in where I tried to do the third layer and it didn't work I don't want it to sound like I just gave up because I was literally sitting there like trying and trying but it wasn't really coming out how I wanted it to so I just improvised and actually the way I ended up doing it was something that I really really like so I guess you can say it kind of worked for the best but here is just like me adding that third layer that didn't really come out right with the darker shade of red and it would have turned out pretty but like the heart was just uneven and I didn't really like it so I wiped that away And then I'm just going to be repeating the first little heart like how it looks now. I'm just going to do a heart and then outline it in one color. I'm going to be doing two of those. Like this one, it will be outlined one and then I'm going to do one closer to the cuticle area which I will outline in another color. I'm not going to have all of this on camera because it's way too long and I couldn't really get the angles. I was trying to get them really really neat and of course I had to be closer to my face so I really couldn't record how I wanted it to. But here is how the hearts turned out. Like they turned out really, really pretty and I like it. Like it's just so colorful. So now I'm just gonna be taking the white gel liner from Madame Glam and I'm gonna be doing like the four pointed stars. Usually I will put the dot first and just pull out the lines from the dot, but I'm going in and doing a T shape with the white gel liner and then I'll go back in and add the dot in the center of these. After adding in the dots for the four pointed stars, I did go in and add some random dots over the other areas of the nail just to fill in some of those empty spaces. I cured that and then I didn't show this 
thumbnail because I really didn't like how it turned out but there was no way I was going to be able to um, repeat those hearts on this nail because I was holding my hand really weird and yeah I just did something completely different so I went in and did a marble and I'm just adding those four pointed stars and some dots on here and then afterwards I cured for 30 seconds and then I'm going to move on to the last nail so I pulled out my pixie crystals once again and I got this from Amazon I'll link it down below for you guys who are interested and I'm taking these rhinestone little containers these all came from the model ones advent calendar these pearls as well i'm taking the rhinestone glue and i'm just gonna do a full coverage of this nail because i'm gonna be adding the rhinestones and then sprinkling the rest of the nail in the pixie crystals i did this design for one of my christmas designs i did the french peppermint swirl if you haven't seen that video even though it's not christmas if you are interested in watching it i'll leave it in the cards so once I applied the rhinestone glue over the entire nail, I'm going in and adding some of the red rhinestone hearts, some pearls, and then also some of the AB rhinestones. And once I get them to my liking, I'm just going to pour over the pixie crystals in the remaining areas. And then I'll cure that, making sure everything is all nice. I'll pat in the sides and you will see that once I get to that part. But I will pat in the sides just to make sure everything is where it needed to be. And then once I get that to my liking, I'm going to be curing for 30 seconds Oh my gosh like just look at how this nail is turning out it's turning out so so cute so okay so now that we have the rhinestones and the caviar beads i mean the pixie crystals um cured in place i'm gonna go over the index nail and the pinky with the top coat because i'm going to be adding on some of these pearls on the cuticle and i'm just putting three a bigger one near the cuticle a medium size in the middle and then a smaller one going down below that very very simple i like it it ties in the pearls and like the rhinestone look to this nail set so once i get those to my liking it was kind of difficult because it looks straight this way but when i flip my hand it looked more on the right side so it was difficult trying to center these pearls i cured that and i'm just repeating that to my pinky nail as well and then after that i'll just be top coating the nails adding my cuticle oil and i'll be back to show you guys the finished product While I'm adding the top coat to the other two nails, just as a reminder, make sure to be subscribed to my channel and follow my Instagram if you do want to have a chance to win the $50 monthly giveaway. There will just be one winner. There won't be two or three. There will just be one winner. So yeah, now that I got that out the way, here is how my finished nail set looks. And it just turned out so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I know it's not too early to post Valentine's Day nails because I have seen a few people already posting them. So, of course, when I swatched out the colors for this Fierce gel polish set from Model Ones, of course, I had to throw mine in there. I'm super excited how my first Valentine's Day nail set turned out. I really, really love it. Especially the hearts and the pixie crystal nails. Like, those are just so, so pretty. Comment down below what you guys thought of this nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.